Steve Mignone here for the Assetor Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Hoard Sale with something very special. This is one of 809 1958 Chrysler 300Ds ever built. It's a beautiful project car. This car is basically semi-disassembled. The parts go with it that aren't seen here, but what we see here is a very clean, rust-free body. And my magnet tells me that, uh, again, this is very, very clear. Uh, I do see a little bit of plastic filler here, but again, the magnet still sticks to it. So, a little bit, little bit, maybe a dent right there, who knows. But we do see the heavy-duty brakes up front, and under the headlights, 58 Crusher 300s have got this. This a little red vent. That's actually a brake cooling duct, and yes, the plastic parts are still here inside under the front headlights, right up in there. So very complete car, that puppy right there, that is the cold air for the brakes. Inside, while some of these had manual transmissions, like a couple of them, this one has the push button torque flight. Go on inside of there and take a peek. And there are the buttons to the left. Bench seat, power windows, very nice presentation inside. It's almost ready to go. You know, I mean, uh, it's a project car for sure. But again, the quarter panels on this one, no rust. The beauty of this, you know, we all know that those 50s Chrysler products were notorious for rusting badly, but this is a Texas example. And again, 809 of these were built. So let's go under the hood and see what we have there. Yep, there it is. This is the mighty 392 Hemi in its second year in the 300s. Dual quads, of course, standard issue on the 300s. And I love this. These are adjustable rocker arms right here, seen only on high-performance Hemis to allow lash adjustments for the solid cam. These are a couple thousand bucks if you're trying to build a Hemi and you need them, but they, here they are, complete and intact. Air conditioning, factory AC car, pretty rare option. Let's go down this side and look inside the trunk and see what we find. Again, the paint's been partially removed, but again, that is a rust-free, solid body. My magnet sticks pretty much everywhere. And these things, again, were notorious for rusting in New England. So, inside the trunk, what do we have here? Okay, looks good. Oh, 300, here's the emblem from the side of the car, the 300D. And the hubcaps are here. And here's one of those Hemi valve covers. We look at this here, and something special about this is to clear the adjustable rocker arms on the solid lifter Hemi, these bumps are seen only on letter car valve covers and on industrial Hemis. So this car is very, very complete. It's a perfect project car, ready to go. And again, one of 809 made. Not a fake, not a clone, it's the real deal.